How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today I've got one of the most requested video, well one of the most requested airplanes to review. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out the Diamond DA50. No joke guys, we had Oshkosh, the DA50RG. And most of you probably have seen videos of this aircraft already, but I promise you it's nothing like actually standing in front of it and in this just gorgeous, gorgeous dark matte color scheme here. Honestly, I think every aircraft manufacturer should start paying me a fee because I think we started a trend. All the big players are now going with this darker color, but it is so stunning on this airplane. I mean, look at the interior too to match. We'll get in there in a little bit, but let me tell you a little bit about the DA50 RG. First of all, RG stands for retractable landing gear as you can see here the wheels do retract and i'm telling you this aircraft is a giant when you stand next to it i'm just gonna go around it for you and don't mind people around the plane because it's a show out here and everyone is trying to get a taste of this beautiful aircraft man i mean look at the size of the wing i'm looking at this plane and i'm thinking you can't even i don't think you could park it in a standard t-hanger you look at the size of the flaps here, okay? This thing is huge, huge. And then the ailerons, you've got winglet over there. And also something I noticed with this plane is the longer nose. And we'll talk about the power plant in a little bit. And, but this is pretty standard with uh, Diamond Aircraft. We come back here, you see the giant rudder. So it's a T, sort of like a T shape letter T design all of the aircraft is designed this way and I should know also well because I trained in a Diamond DA40 which is the predecessor in a way to this airplane the DA40 is a four-seater and the DA50 is being sold as a five-seater and we'll get in that interior in a little bit again uh, and I'll show you if that's possible but Let's get back to the cowling up here. So, one of the things that's unique to the DA50 as compared to all the other Diamond aircraft is the power plant you have in here, which is the Continental CD300. This engine uses jet fuel, so jet A. So you're not burning 100 low lead, okay? And speaking of jet A, you're also only burning about 10 gallons of fuel per hour. Can you imagine that? Look, that's the DA40 right there. That burns about the same amount of fuel. So you've got a bigger plane, bigger engine, more power. You can carry more load, more people, and you're still burning the same amount of fuel. That's really what this plane is being sold as. And also one cool thing that's unique to the airplane, you see here, count the doors. You've got one, two, three, and then you've got four. Let me show you that side with the fourth, uh, the back door there, and just see how wide that door is. Look at that. This thing is huge, okay? So you've got a really wide door, wide opening, both up front and in the back. Now, this aircraft is higher up from the ground. Like I said, it is a giant plane, so I can imagine that for the pilots who are buying this, make sure your lower back is good because you're going to be lifting up quite a bit uh, to get in and out of the airplane. Now if I go a little bit further back on the wings, you can see these, probably Fiki, so de-icing equipment on board. You've got some stall strips, I believe that's what these are, I'm going to confirm so I don't speak out of terms here and you've got your uh, your fuel tanks in the wing so if you can see here total amount of fuel for the da50 is 51 gallons so 51 gallons of fuel and with that you've got about 1280 useful load but we'll talk a little bit more about the numbers later on right now i want to show you the interior of the airplane so one thing that's also unique to the diamond da50 is the build material so you see this nice matte color uh, the entire plane, and I mean the entire airplane, is built out of carbon fiber except for those landing gear. 
So the entire airframe is carbon fiber. Now, let me show you the interior. So to get in the DA50, first you've got this stool here. Again, this thing is much taller up here. So you've got a, the, the, the pull-up step up here. And I imagine you hold on to this. Actually, no, they got a handle. So like I said, except you have a strong lower back, you gotta pull yourself up. Now, once you're on the wings here, now, let's talk about this interior space. At first glance, you can see the width of the cabin here. Uh, this is, if not the widest cabin in its class. Uh, even a Cirrus, I don't think the Cirrus is this wide. Now, this is where the fight seat comes in. You've got three, okay? Three sitting is just one row. And you've got three adults that could possibly sit back here. And I said possibly because everyone is going to be different size or different sizes and then you've got your baggage uh area here let's see how much load you can put back here it doesn't say it but i will let you know shortly but you look at this interior space first of all you look at the materials using the interior even the roof line here very neat now let me get in and sit down then i can show you how spacious or not spacious it is so it's again it's quite easy just step in okay i'm sitting now in the interior but let me sit in the middle because i think this is where we may have issues of comfort or not comfortable i'm gonna switch the camera around so guys i am inside the diamond da 50 i'm sitting in the middle seat because i want to give you an idea of spacing and comfort level so you can see here i think a, a standard size adult maybe should be able to fit here nicely and same thing to my right you can see and for reference i'm 510 i would say i'm average size and it's pretty comfortable sitting here now the only thing i would say just like in your car you've got this uh middle thin on the floor so foot your leg space you might need to share that with other people but honestly i i imagine that this really is a four seater once you fill up those tanks now the useful load in this airplane is about 300 um, 1300 uh pounds but 300 or so pounds is going to take up your fuel and so you'd have let's say 900 ish of payload which really you can take five adults with 900 pounds again depend on the uh depending on the size of people you carry and this plane will take you up to a thousand miles but now let's switch up front because this is where the magic happens here we are guys and i've got the perfect sitting here if you're familiar with the diamond aircraft uh, a lot of the airplanes um, are equipped if it's a glass panel it's a garmin g1000 now this is the g1000 nxi which is a much better upgrade and the g1000 is a very sophisticated avionics i can tell you because i train in one and if you know about the g1000 you know how to use it um, it really any other glass panel you use once you use a g1000 you get you get uh, assimilated pretty quickly so dual screens uh you've got your I don't see a key there, so another cool thing, cool technology, this is push to start. And as I said, this is not a piston engine or any ordinary piston engine. So this, uh, the system in this plane is full FADEC. So you've got a nice computer that controls all your flow. And you can tell by that because you've only got one lever. Okay, so only one lever to fly makes the, uh, the task on the pilot a lot easier. And also something that's unique to diamonds are this. I can tell this stick from anywhere and you wouldn't even find this size of stick in most airplanes, but in a DA-40, and as you see in this airplane, you have it. And more than enough leg room, as you can see uh, in here. Very nice soft touches and materials used for the interior. Also, you've got nice cushion for your, for your legs here. Um, I'm gonna stay back here because I think if I go up front, I wouldn't be able to see everything. But your standard cockpit, and then you've got your circuit breakers to the right here. Uh, it's quite a bit of them, but not a lot. But like I said, this airplane is fully stacked. Now, you look up top on the roof, look. 
some electronic switches. Uh, this airplane can be equipped with air conditioning, so you can have that. Also a parachute, also oxygen. The flight ceiling for the DA-50RG is 20,000 feet, and that's plenty. And at that, you're cruising at 190 or so knots. So this is, you can just say, is a 200 knot airplane, which is pretty neat. Now let's step out. We've gotten up for this. If we were to sit up front, whether in the pilot or co-pilot, so you can already tell the amount of room you have there. And I don't imagine that these seats scroll back and forth. Uh, that's another thing I know about diamonds. Their seats are static, but you can adjust the rudder pedals. Uh, so if you're on the taller or the shorter side, you can always move those pedals back and forth. Uh, but anyway, let's step out and I'll show you some more. If you can see the length of this wing from up here, uh, diamonds are pretty much gliders, okay? So these things can stay in the air for a pretty, pretty long time. But let's give room for all the people. So guys, let's talk some real world numbers. As I said, you have 300 horsepower in this plane and you're cruising really at 200 knots, burning 10 gallons of fuel per hour. You can go up to a thousand miles, but here's the kicker, the price tag, okay? Your price tag for a DA50 RG is 1.15 million starting price. And if you were to get all the bells and whistles with the air condition, parachute, uh, and so on and so forth, then you're looking closer to $1.4 million. So this is a $1.4 million airplane. But I mean, can't compare it really to anything else in the market, not even a Cirrus. This is a much bigger bird than a Cirrus. And you see the just the giant outlet or the giant cut for the airflow on the cowl in here. So this is a, a pretty big bird. And for 1.4, you can get yourself one and make sure you get this color by the way but anyway this is the diamond da50rg i'm like a kid at the candy store right now because i've also been waiting to see this airplane and it looks beautiful in person i hope you guys enjoyed the review if you did please give it a thumbs up if this is your first time make sure you subscribe to the channel and also put the notification bell on again my name is mike a great way to support the channel is by becoming an mvp member or become a premium member up here. Okay, go on to mojogroup.net forward slash MVP and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.